guys, welcome to another video, the first video of 2024, and this starts with me to go on. This year I really do want to give more videos and more content out for you guys. Um, don't get excited, I'm not out fishing, I'm out to do a little bit of casting this morning. There's a small window of opportunity um, on New Year's Day, believe it or not. Uh, it's early in the morning, it's about half past ten, and the rain's coming in in about an hour, so I've probably got about 40 minutes to get this done. But I just want to get that new century rod um, and those new reels going just to see if that new reel's any good just to have a couple of swings with it just to see what it's all about um, I'm going to get it set up and get going and then have a chat to you after because um, I really do want to get going before the rain comes in so happy new year and welcome to the new video so right now I've got the the new Flarden on the little 60 quid reel with the mono mag um, I've been having a little play with it I've been having a little look online uh, it looks very similar to another few reels that are on the market. I've got a feeling that some of these come out of the same factory and they've got different names on them. But um, I'm going to give this a couple of swings. It might explode on the first go. It might go for miles. We'll see. So first impressions, not too bad, you know, considering that's a 60 quid reel. Just had a little lazy lob just to get the line out there and wind it back in to make sure it's bedded in properly and it's loaded on correctly. And I gave it a little bit on that second cast and I'm really surprised how well that went. It did go for miles. But it didn't go too bad. I think it's going to be a more than adequate fishing reel. To be fair, I've got six brake blocks in that thing. Well, I've got them all engaged at the moment. So it's going to be slow. Um, I've got the small tensioner done up a bit. The last thing I wanted to do really was just to kill it on the first cast and then throw it in the box by the bottom of the box or in one of the drawers and then it never comes out again. I just wanted to know that it's going to be a decent secondary reel, a decent backup reel. If I have a problem with one of the pens, I can throw it in the box, worry about it later, put another reel on and I'm back fishing. So that's, that's the idea. Um, at the moment, it's going to be my second reel, so I'm going to be using it. Um, but in the near future, I think there's going to be a new pen cut. But we'll talk more about that nearer the time. I'll be having a couple more casts with this. Um, what I have realised is the hand grip that I've put on, I think I've put it a little bit too low, so I think I might have to take that off and just bring it up six or eight inches. Um, but yeah, a couple more swings. I don't know why that's going to focus. Jessica, is that focusing? But um, I've taken quite a lot of line out on that. God, that's quite sexy. Isn't it? Don't get me wrong, I mean, it's, it's the test of time for these things. It might cast well straight out of the box, brand new. And after a few sessions, we might have problems. It might start to corrode quickly. It could be a number of things. 
could also be the fact that I'm using a fairly decent rod. Well, for 60 quid, I did hold out much hope, I've got to be honest. But I think that's a fantastic little reel for the money, and I urge anybody, while they're on offer on Amazon, for 59 99 to get themselves a Flarden Maximus 655 high speed, high speed surf reel with a mono mag, a beautiful handle. The handle feels so smooth, it's got a fast retrieve, it feels so balanced when you're winding in. Um, without any tinkering whatsoever, out of the box, line on, and that's casting really, really well. In the hands of someone who is really good at casting, I can see that being quite a tool, you know. And I've looked online, and these are very, very similar to some Tronics Pro reels and some Akios reels. When you take them apart and have a look inside, so similar. And the upgrades that you can do, you can put a stronger magnet on there. So you can have, um, for when you're casting sort of bigger baits in, in rough weather and that sort of thing, um, you can put ceramic hybrid bearings in there to make it run faster. There's so many things you can do with them. You can put a one-piece cage on it to make it a bit more rigid so it casts better. There's, there's loads you can do with it. It could be a little project reel for me. The pens are going to be my fishing reels, um, hands down. Uh, I love them, I love the way they look. The way they look and the way they act, the way they fish, the way they cast. Beautiful everything about them. But that's not bad, I've got to say. I'm going to have another cut of cast, it's looking good. So as you can see, I'm back home now with a nice cup of coffee. Lunch is on. Done some cottage pies today. Two cottage pies because Jessica can't have dairy, so she has her own special cheese on top of her cottage pie. Um, I've given the reel a little rinse. It was getting cold down there, so when I finished casting, I just wanted to get everything bundled in the car. Jessica was getting cold as well. She did come with me, just sort of sat behind the camera and. Um, just let me know that everything was in focus and stuff. Just helping out, little little camera buddy. And, uh, and she was starting to get cold as well, so I thought I'd just do the outro at home, comfortable, so I can um, have a little bit of a chat. But yeah, that reel. What can I say? Sixty quid. These are my pride and joy. I say these because very soon. I'm going to be getting a second one. Now he wants to remain anonymous. But one of you legends out there contacted me and said, would you be offended if I was to buy you one of those? I know you want another one. And um, I want to help the channel and um, do something nice. How lovely is that? They're not cheap. But he's ordered one and he's having it sent to me and it'll probably be here at the weekend. So... Yeah, you know who you are. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, those are going to be my main fishing reels. But this is a surprise. It handled lovely. Winding in was beautiful. Cast, brilliant. <laughs> Looks amazing. <laughs> I can't fault it. I could probably make it run faster. Like I said, down the beach. Um, hopefully the audio was okay and you heard what I was saying. But um, 
I've been watching a YouTube channel recently called Pimp My Reel, and the guy's a genius. The guy takes reels, abus, akios, pens, all sorts, takes them apart, modifies them, puts these special bearings in them, special gears, makes them faster, so 5.1 gear ratio, you can turn it into a 6.1, you know, just by putting different gears in. Repairs, obviously he does repairs and servicing, but he does modifications. Um, big magnets. Um, he's making titanium and graph and titanium and carbon parted reels for people who are fishing with them up in the Antarctic at minus 50, so that they don't because aluminium and brass and bronze it warps when you get to those sort of temperatures. So he's using parts that won't warp when you get to those it's, this is a fascinating little watch I've been watching all sorts and from what I can gather this Flood and Maximus 655 is very 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 similar inside and out to something like the Akios Tournament Mag um, just different colours um, and he's been doing some modifications on those so there's no reason why I can't do modifications on these what I've found when I've taken these apart this apart is that there's a bearing inside this end float cap there's also two bearings inside the spool one either side and I think those can be all upgraded to ceramic ones to make it run faster the magnet doesn't do a great deal I mean it does help it does do something when you've got it on and you spin it you get about four or five seconds out of it and when you turn it off you get about 15 but some of the reels that he was pimping with bigger magnets and these bearings, you can get it to run for four seconds with the mag on, but four minutes with the mags off. And there's no reason why this can't do the same. Now, as I said before, these are going to be my fishing reels, 100%. But this is going to be a backup reel, and maybe even a little project reel. See what I can do, distance-wise. It's something a bit extra to play with, that's all. Um, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to get back and just have a little bit of a chat about my findings. I mean, the rod performed impeccably. The rod is absolutely tremendous. And again, I'm going to get another one of those. Um, so I've got a matching pair to fish with. But, um, yeah, a big surprise. 60 quid on Amazon. Retail, that's £80, 79.99. And at the moment on Amazon... These are $59.99 and I would recommend to anybody to get one of these while they're cheap. 60 quid, load it with line, put me in the bottom of your box and that will get you out of trouble. It might even be that you want to put a third rod out. But yeah, impressed. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, cottage pies are in, everyone's going to want to eat soon. Two cottage pies, you might have noticed, going in there. Jessica can't have dairy, so she has special cheese on top of her one. And we have big fat cheddar on top of ours. Um, but yeah, um, Happy New Year to everybody. Um, I wanted to get a video out early to say Happy New Year. Um, and also, just to start as we mean to go on, I do want to get more content out on the channel this year. Every opportunity that I get. If you enjoy these little sort of indoors chats about things, new things that I've got, plans that I've got, then brilliant, we'll do that. Um, Making rigs, perhaps, um, I could have a go at that, but most importantly, fishing. This morning would have been an ideal opportunity to fish, but the tide was going down, and I only had a short window. I had Jessica with me, I had lunch to do, so I couldn't be out for too long. But just 40 minutes down the beach to do a few casts, and I did what I set out to do, and I'm really glad that I did. I felt so good that I've been sort of cooped up for days and days and days with new kit, just thinking, what's this like? I really want to use it. What's the rod like? I really want to try it out. Um, and we've done that now, and I'm really pleased with what we found. So, um, so yeah, tight lines. Um, Happy New Year. Best fishes for the new year ahead. And we'll see you, hopefully, very soon. Tight lines, guys.